This is the easiest dinner that you will ever make. It's smoked sausage, zucchini ribbons, and a very special glaze that you're just gonna love it. So if you're ready to have dinner done in less than 10 minutes, that is low carb, protein packed, and so much fun and flavorful, this is the place to be. Mm. Hi, I'm back and I'm gonna make a smoked sausage and zucchini noodle dinner. This is really simple, really easy, and can be done in less than 10 minutes. First things first, I've got medium heat going. I've got my saucepan open right here and I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of olive oil. And I mean just a little bit because the smoked sausage that I'm going to use is actually kind of fatty. And if you can get a good look in here, you're gonna see these big white chunks of meat. That's fat, fat is good, don't fear the fat. Flat is flavor, okay? I mean, it's delicious. So what we're gonna do is get this oil nice and hot. It's starting to run across the pan. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my sausage and just go ahead and put it in. And this is gonna cook the sausage. Yes, it's already smoked, but it's gonna cook it just a little bit more. And it's gonna render out a lot of that fat while browning it, giving it so much flavor. And this is what we're gonna use to impart flavor on the zucchini. So, there we are, right there. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our zucchini noodles. And what I have is a zucchini, nice big one, and I've already cut off the the stem end and the tail end right here. And I'm just gonna use a vegetable peeler to peel noodles. And if you wanna peel it, get some of the flawed skin off, that's fine too, it doesn't really matter. It's all edible, it was washed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my peeler and just start peeling. And it makes really wonderful, beautiful ribbon noodles just like this. So you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and finish scraping up my zucchini. I'm gonna stir the sausage and we're gonna come back and put it together. Okay, so the sausage is cooked. It's really nice, it's kind of firm, you know, and you can see it's cooked through. Um, it's charred on some of the pieces, but I don't want them to be so cooked that they're completely dried out. I still want them to be nice and juicy. You know, you have all that beautiful meat, that fat that's wonderful, that's, you know, marbled in there. So I wanna keep some of the integrity of the sausage and what I'm gonna do is move all of this over to my bowl. Let's see if I bring the bowl over here. And I wanna keep all of that rendered fat and olive oil in the pan. So once I get all of this out, just like this, here we are, all right. So once all of this is out, I'm gonna go ahead and take about a quarter of a cup of chopped, finely diced actually, um, red onion. And you can use white onion, yellow, blah, 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 yellow onion, whatever it is that you like, but the onions have a sweetness to them whenever they get caramelized. So I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit and remove it from the burner. And I'm gonna take, where did I put my onions? Oh, here they are. Okay, so I take about a quarter of a cup of onions and I'm gonna drop them into this rendered fat. Okay, give them a swirl, saute them up a little bit, and we're gonna let these guys sweat for about 30 to 45 seconds, okay? Don't wanna go too far because I still want that, the integrity of the onion, and I just wanna heat them up so that way their natural sweetness starts to come out. All right. They're getting super fragrant. And you can see I have my zucchini noodles already cooked, um, cut up right here, and they're gonna be ready to go in. And it's been about 15 seconds. These guys are getting a little caramelized, which is beautiful. The caramelization of the onions is what helps to bring out the flavor. And I don't need to add any more salt right now, not at this point, because the sausage is smoked. It's very heavily seasoned. It's nice and spicy. So all of that flavor is actually in the fat that these onions are cooking in. So they're lightly brown, they're softening up and they're super fragrant. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my zucchini ribbons. So this is a wonderful, uh, 
substitution if you want to go low carb, if you want, um, you know, something that's not quite as heavy as a traditional pasta dinner. The zucchini is fantastic. You don't have to boil it in water. Um, it's a vegetable, so it's mostly made of water. In my case, um, the zucchini was actually in the fridge and I needed to cook it. <laughs> so what better reason, right? I visited my grandfather this afternoon. He's always very generous whenever it comes to sausages and meats. Of course, we make our own. Um, he had some in the freezer and he gave it to me and that's just what he does. So I thought I'd make him proud, bring it home and make a very simple low carb pasta dish. All right, so we're gonna let these guys cook and saute for about two minutes and then we're gonna throw it all together with a very, very special, special savory topping. You don't wanna miss it. Okay. So the zucchini is actually at its perfect consistency. This is exactly where I want it. It's still a little teeny tiny bit crunchy and it's not completely, you know, limp, like a soggy noodle. It does, however, need a little pinch of salt. So let me go ahead and season that up. Toss it all together. Nice. All right, time to taste it again. And this is something I always encourage you guys. Season it as you go. Season it, taste it, constantly taste it. If you're not hungry by the time dinner rolls around, it's probably because you've done a really good job of seasoning your food because you're tasting it. So. Let's see how you work out here. Oh, that's a big guy, but you're gonna be mine. Okay, ready? Tiny little pinch more. <clears throat> that was actually half a pinch. So this is perfect and beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my sausage back in here. Not all of it, just some of it. There you go. And you can see how the zucchini has cooked down quite a bit because it's a vegetable, like I said, and it's, you know, mostly water. All right, there we go. Now the smoked sausage, the smoky flavor is very rich. So I'm gonna cut it with just a squeeze of lemon juice. That's gonna cover it right there. My towel, clean my hands. All right, the heat is already off. Give it a nice little swirl here. Do one more thing. You know it, gotta taste it. That livened it up completely. All right. So now, for plating, grab some of my zucchini, set it on my plate, just kind of twist it. We're gonna get a little fancy in our plating, why not? A little bit more zucchini. Can you see this? Look at the green and the white. It's lovely. Put a little more sausage on there. There you go. Okay, and now for that special topping that I've been telling you about, that special glaze. Let me show you. This guy right here. Ooh. This guy right here is a special honey and garlic ferment that I've been working on thanks to Brad Leone at Bon Appetit. Um, I just followed his recipe. I have 14 peeled cloves of garlic, slightly crushed in a cup and a half of honey. And this has been sitting on my counter now for a couple of weeks. And you can see the honey is very thin. It's almost water-like. But this gives the dish an entire new flavor. It's sweet, it's savory. All I'm gonna do is take my spoon and just kind of drop it in and drizzle very lightly over the sausage. Now, the sausage itself already has a, com a complex uh, flavor to it. It's smoky, it's spicy, it's fatty, it's absolutely wonderful. The acid from the lemon is actually gonna cut through a lot of that richness and the honey and garlic is gonna give it a sweet and savory note that is just gonna knock it out of the park and bring it into a whole nother dimension. All right, I'm always doing this, I'm always hungry and I'm always forgetting my fork, okay, which is really being really silly. So here it is, that's the finished product zucchini ribbons with smoked sausage and garlic honey glaze. Oh my God. Try that little piece of sausage. Dinner is done. This is my dinner. 
I might share, I might not. Either way, I'm gonna enjoy this and you will too. So super simple, less than 10 minutes. Subscribe for more tricks, for more awesome ideas. Get to Bravo is always here for you. Drop me a line, let me know how you're doing, let me know what you'd like to see done, and uh, we'll call it dinner. Okay guys, buon appetito.